new body parts for humans. The nascent field of regenerative medicine will enable a person's cells to regenerate brain tissue, limb parts, and to build replacement hearts, livers, kidneys and blood supply. The human fetus has the ability to grow replacement parts in the wound. This ability can be reactivated genetically, and abetted by stem cell technology. The liver is the only organ that can partially self-regenerate. Organ regeneration After spinal cord injury there is an increased production of a protein called Rho that blocks regeneration of nerve cells. When administered to the spine a chemically synthesized SIRNA molecule decreased the production of the Rao protein and allowed for the regeneration of nerve cells. Neural stem cells were transplanted and administered with volproic acid in a mouse model with spinal cord injury. The volproic acid promoted the transplanted neural stem cells to generate nerve cells. Human liver Human cells were used to create a lab-grown liver. The organs were grown on scaffold, and when fetal cells were pumped into the scaffold they grew. When supplied with oxygen and nutrients the cells created a new organ on the scaffold in a similar experiment lab-grown bladders were successfully transferred into human patients. Vision stem cells Taken from the biopsied corneal limbus, the border of the cornea and the scura, the white of the eye, tissue grew into healthy corneal tissue in about two weeks after the healthy tissue was grafted onto the damaged eye. 77% of the 112 patients in the study had successful grafts. Corneas made in the lab using genetically engineered human collagen were implanted. Two years after the implants, 60% of the patients had improved vision, and 90% had cell and nerve regeneration. The corneal cells, removed from traumatic wounds, is a source of progenitor cells. The cells have many of the properties of adult stem cells, including the capacity to differentiate into a specific type of cell because the cells have the potential to develop into different cells they are useful in regenerative medicine. Human Limb Regrowth Strategy The formation of blastema, mass of cells capable of growth and regeneration into organs or body parts, represents a transition phase in which limb cells respond to injury by differentiating to become embryonic limb progenitor cells that can undergo redevelopment during this phase. Rapid wound closure is followed by differentiation of limb cells to form the blastema. The regeneration process can be divided into a wound healing, differentiation phase. The interface between the wound healing response and differentiation, lies at the heart of the regeneration in mammals. The epidermis, the dermis, and muscle as key regulators of regeneration critical limb ischemia is severe obstruction of the arteries which limits blood flow and results in 100,000 amputations annually patients with advanced stages of peripheral disease were injected with CD34 plus hematopoietic stem cells, resulting in a 50% reduction in the amputation rate.